In this second part of the three-part tutorial here on Loops FX, I'm going to show you how to beat create a track with an unsteady beat. So stick along. Shana players and welcome back to another episode of Loops FX. My name is Bergwall or Bywell as we say in Sweden and today we're going to continue with the three-part tutorial on how to beat with like a pro on Pioneer record box. This is part 2, the unsteady beat, but if you haven't already seen part 1, the basics, please do so before you continue with this episode. And after this, do part 3, the tempo transition. Here in part 2, the unsteady beat, I'm going to show you how to beat create a track that doesn't have a steady beat. That normally happens when you have a human drummer. He or she might drift off the tempo, the grid, once in a while, and this is how you correct that. But before we start, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell as well if you want to be reminded every time we post a new video. And if you like this episode, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want me to wear a t-shirt with your company's name or product brand here in the upcoming episode of Loops FX, please send an email to hello at loopsfx.com. Now, let's do this. So let's continue this uh, tutorial by beat greeting an old school track, a track from the 80s, uh, 70s with a human drummer. Uh, that uh, doesn't keep a steady beat like a drum machine. It's drifting uh, ever so often off uh, the tempo, but it's uh, that makes that uh, funky swing and the disco uh, swing as well. Uh, Earth, Wind, and Fire, Shining Star, almost like a radio presenter there. So let's uh, get rid of every cue point I already made for some reason. Uh, let's listen. It's off. It's off. It's off. It starts there. There is the first beat of the of the bass. So let's adjust with the master grid, as I say, and, and that's the next beat. We have to continue doing this on every beat until we we come to a point in the song that we don't mix anymore. Only on the intro. Then we have to switch method. You can see that even if you have to use your ear, you can see that uh, that uh, there's a high attack on every beat. On the bass drum, or is it the, the bass tones of the guitar? Soon we're done. Oh, there's the bass. It was the guitar. So, there. There's the fill and... We don't mix with that. So we start from, uh, from the beginning and just listen. It was a, it, it was a very good and almost great, uh, but uh, two thirds in uh, something happened. Perhaps I have to take this one. Because the bass is, is dominating. So after we do that one, and if you um, go back and redo uh, a, a marker, you have to do the rest as well. So let's listen again. Ah, it's, it's a little, it's a little um, drifting there, but uh, it's okay. It works. So let's um, continue beat greeting this track until the end. Uh, I don't suggest to do every beat because that will take hours. 
uh, or, or uh, almost an hour beat gridding the whole track, even if it's only uh, uh, yeah three minutes long. So I beat grid every eight uh, beats. There. And then I slide this. So. Then we have to slide it back. And hit that button. So. And this is uh, what you have to do throughout the whole track until you come to the end. I'm not going to do that now, just listen. Sounds much better when I do the 8 beats, every 8 beats. So, so uh, let's say that, uh, that we are uh, at the end. I have to do something here. So, there, shine a star for you and me. Here is the part where we mix out the track, so uh, let's uh, do this from here every beat. There's a um, snare. It was almost correct. As soon as I set set uh, the the first um, adjustment marker, uh, it was uh, fixing itself almost. So let's listen. So uh, this is a part that I would loop if I would uh, mix this one. I would loop this one, do, do, do. so it doesn't need any more adjustments. And then lock it. So, this is how you beat grid a track that doesn't have a steady beat. You adjust the beat grid with the shrink and um, expand the buttons and with the adjustment marker. So now I hope you start beat gridding even your old school tracks. Thank you for watching this episode of a three part tutorial on how to beat grid like a pro record box. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell as well if you want to be reminded every time I post a new video. If you have any requests or want me to test a product or a service of yours, please send an email to hello at loopseffects.com. See you next time.